Well, hello everyone. My name is Ed Rich. I'm the Director of Communications for the Maplewood Richmond Heights School District. And we're here to talk to you briefly today about the Nelson Mitten Scholarship Fund. And who better to help me do that uh, than two uh, most recent uh, awardees of the Mitten Scholarship. I'm joined by Erica Long and Whitney Schranz from the class of 20. Um, Erica, I'll ask you to unmute. And if you'll uh, just tell us uh, where, where you are, where are you going to school and how do you like it? Yeah, so right now um, I'm going to Seattle University, which is located in downtown Seattle. Um, I'm currently majoring in economics, um, but I like I love the school and I love the city. So it's going it's going pretty well, despite everything that's happening. Do you get to keep in touch with family and friends very often? Yeah, actually, um, I'm in contact with my family like all the time. And then like friend wise, like Whitney knows we always like <laughs> we always zoom like once a week, like people from high school, we have a little group that we're always like staying in touch with each other. That's great to hear. Whitney, I'll bring you in now if you'll unmute. Yeah, hi, I'm Whitney Strons. I go to Colorado College in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Um, I plan a major in political science and hopefully go to law school after that. And yeah, it's really great here. I've made a lot of friends. The distance has really taught me a lot about myself and just what I can handle and I'm being pushed academically. And as Erica said, the MRH community is great and always there for you. How's the weather in Colorado? It's snowing right now, like we're kind of having a snowstorm, but I really enjoy that. I love the cold weather. Let's talk a little bit about the Nelson Mitten Scholarship. Mr. Mitten, of course, was a, a, a quite a pivotal figure in the development of the Maplewood Richmond Heights School District, and he has been since the year 2000. Uh, he was instrumental in hiring many of the individuals who turned around the district's finances and the, uh, the academic performance. Um, what message, uh, Whitney, would you have for Nelson Mitten, if you could speak to him right now? Um, I would obviously just start with a thank you and just for all that he's done to the community like he's kind of an inspiration just because like I think he had a good balance of career and especially in a career that I would like to go into one day and even with his involvement within the community. Erica, how about you? What would you say to Mr. Mitten? Um, I would also give him a great thank you because as someone who's been in the MRH district my whole life, like even since like ECC level, um, I, I was definitely able to come into the high school after it had um, been improved greatly. And so I'm going to largely like a big thanks to him because I'm sure he had a lot to do with turning it around, like you said. Um, and I feel like I got a really great um, educational experience out of that. Um, so it was really great just to like be able to continue within the district, knowing that it was knowing that I was going to be able to get a great education out of it. Erica, how did the Mitten Scholarship uh, make a difference in, in meeting your particular college needs? And I mean, financially or otherwise. So financially, any bit helps. And I mean that, um, especially going out of state, any scholarship amount is definitely appreciated. Um, and then I would also say that just like on a personal level, like being the recipient of any scholarship is a kind of a big self-confidence boost. And then it encouraged you, it encouraged me anyway, to like continue to look for other scholarship opportunities. Cause like once you get one, you think, oh, you know, I could get a dozen more. So I think it's definitely both financial and like, it's kind of a self-confidence booster. Whitney, what did this scholarship mean for you? Um, kind of just to reiterate what Erica said, like every little bit counts. College is very expensive, as I'm sure everyone knows. And yeah, it is a really big confidence boost. And it's really a nice honor to be like considered for it. And yeah, I think Erica just put it great. You both did. What uh, I, I should point out that this video uh, is designed to be shown to people who might be considering making a donation to the fund for this year's uh, recipients, um, what would uh, what would you say, Whitney, to someone who is considering possibly making a donation to the Nelson Mitten Scholarship Fund? Um, I think education is always a good investment for anyone. Really, I think it really builds self confidence and creates 
a great value to society and you can learn to value yourself through it too. And yeah, I'd just say thank you if you consider it and it's really life-changing. Erica, how about you? Yeah, I agree 100%. Um, I think that any anyone who's considering um, donating to the scholarship, they have to know that it really is appreciated. Um, it's like there were three recipients the year we got it. If there could be more in the coming years, that would be wonderful. Like, I, it feels really good to be able to say like, yeah, I got a scholarship. I put money towards my education. I don't just have to rely solely on loans. And also I would say that, especially during COVID, like finances are gonna be really tight. Um, going to school is maybe gonna even seem like not an option for some people. So the more people willing to, you know, donate to this scholarship fund, the better. You're gonna give a lot of kids more opportunities for like furthering their education. Well said, I can't thank both of you enough. I appreciate your time, especially in the middle of the day. I know you're busy and great luck to both of you in the states of Washington and Colorado. Thank you. Thank you.